Hello YouTube land, Marcellus and Lydia here, and we are celebrating our stroke anniversary. It has been one year since Lydia has suffered from a basal ganglia intercerebral hemorrhagic stroke. And we're lucky. This happened a year ago on Thanksgiving. And so we are giving thanks this year for another year together, for another year with our family. We know that some have not been as fortunate as we have been as far as survival. Um, Lydia suffered from a massive stroke. It left her right side paralyzed. Um, it affected her speech where she couldn't talk. And there was a time where we were afraid that she wouldn't be able to talk at all. And so we count ourselves lucky in a way to have survived this stroke. And we know that some that are watching have lost loved ones due to stroke or brain injury. And our heart goes out to you. We follow a lot of individuals on Facebook and YouTube and we watch and listen to their stories and sometimes they have an unfortunate ending. So our heart goes out to you. So I'm going to now um, prompt Lydia with some questions that she's going to answer. And we're going to try and keep this as unedited as possible so that you can get the full experience of Lydia's, Lydia's responses. There might, might be times where uh, we cut out pauses, but you may hear me in the background giving coaching some responses. So we're gonna do that. And then as we close the video or the last end of the video, which is part of, uh, a big part of this, is gonna be Lydia's first week of recovery after her hemorrhagic stroke. Lydia didn't know I was I was taking a video. She didn't know some things I was taking a video of. Uh, she, while she was in the hospital, she was most most of the time asleep, and so she didn't know. And also, she couldn't remember. Uh, I asked her. I showed her these videos, and I asked her permission if I can show them. And she doesn't remember. And that was one of the reasons why I was taking the videos to begin with, is to show her her experience while she was in the hospital and during her recovery. So we hope you enjoy the video. Um, give us a minute while we set up and I will let Lydia uh, take over from here. Okay. How old were you when you had your stroke? 46. 46, okay. Uh, what day did you have your stroke on? It was in November. It was in November. Remember what day we were celebrating something special? Um, it was in Thanksgiving. Say that again. It was in Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? It was Thanksgiving Day? Do you remember what you were doing? What? What were you doing? No. You don't remember? No. Okay. How long did you stay in the hospital? Five weeks. Five weeks. Um, do you remember very much? No. A little bit. A little bit? How long did it take you to say your first word? Three weeks. Three weeks. And are you able to walk on your own? No. Do you? What but, kind of? But. But I want to. I want to do it so long. You, you want to? You've been wanting to walk for so long. Yes. How is your speech doing? It's better. It's better? What would you like to say 
to those people who have gone through similar things that you have gone through? Um, don't give up. It's hard. It's hard. But don't give up. But don't give up. Thank you for washing the. Thank you for washing it. It's December 1st, 2019. We're at Utah Valley, let's see, where are we at? University of Utah Hospital. Lydia is sitting here next to me, or I'm sitting next to her, and she's just resting right now. But what, uh, this is kind of a personal documentary uh, for Lydia's sake so that she can see what's going on at a later time. Um, three days ago, I'm trying to think, 30th, the 28th, no, yeah, the 28th of November, which was Thanksgiving, around 3.30 p.m., uh, my beautiful wife, Lydia, suffered from a stroke. We got her to the hospital and we learned that it was a hemorrhaging stroke and not a blood clot. And those are a little bit more dangerous. They're considering they're rarer than a blood clot type of um, stroke. And so some precautions were made at the hospital. We were because it was a holiday, they did not have a neurosurgeon at the hospital that we went to, so that we were transported up to uh, the University of Utah Hospital. And it's one of the, uh, it's been great. The staff here has been awesome. Um, they walk us through some things, dumb it down for me so that I understand what's going on. Um, it all started with the hemorrhaging. We were brought here. Uh, there was some pressure on her brain. So we were advised for an operation to remove a portion of her skull and to, um, uh, from that, uh, remove the blood that had hemorrhaged uh, to alleviate uh, to get rid of the blood, to alleviate the pressure. And they were confident enough to where they put the skull back into place, stitched her back up. Um, normally this procedure, if they weren't confident, they would have left the skull out, froze it, um, to be put in at a later time. Uh, but they were confident that they got all the blood that had, um, that wasn't supposed to be there out. And anyway, we're on day three. Um, the first couple of days, it was nasty. Um, Lydia's still a little bit swollen now from the surgery, but she has had 
um, breathing support now has been removed. Um, she uh, had some drainage tubes in her skull that have since been removed. And she's now, um, they don't give her IV anymore. She now has a feeding tube that everything is done through the feeding tube. And so a great success in that aspect. Um, all of her vitals are fine. Uh, but we've been working on physical therapy today as well as speech therapy. And she gets tired really easy. So those are kind of short sessions, but we've seen success or we've seen progress. Um, she's able to follow our commands on her left hand left hand side that's the side that wasn't necessarily affected by the stroke um, but we have uh, it's still a slow process where she, her brain has to uh, re-sync itself up a little bit after this operation and so, and so but with the physical therapy today we she was able to follow commands which she's never been able to do before or since this has happened um, counting to five with her on her fingers, waving, squeezing, giving a thumbs up, giving a high five. Um, that type of thing, we seems simple. And for the normal person, uh, even a two-year-old uh, can do this kind of thing, but we're, we get excited when she can do this. Um, so we're here, and this is just uh, something to remember. Uh, in the future, um, she may want to see this video to see what uh, her progress. It's December 2nd, 2019. I believe this is day four. Um, we had a CAT scan today, and it was just to make sure that there was no residual blood on the brain, um, and that uh, it wasn't causing, if there was, that it wasn't causing any issue, and we are good on that front. Um, she has had a bath today. Uh, and um, she's a little active. I don't know if we can see. Um, she's tired. Sometimes she wakes up and looks at me and gets looks like she's angry. Um, so. She still doesn't um, move on command her right hand side and struggles with her left hand side. Um, she does move on her right hand side um, when to avoid pain. So if she gets pinched or something, she does move um, only for only to avoid pain though. Um, what else today? Um, since she had the bath, she smells a lot better, that's for sure. She's gonna hate me if this ever goes public. Um, physical therapist came in around uh, nine o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock this morning, nine o'clock. Uh, woke her up, tried to get her to move some things around. Do you remember the physical therapist? She's looking at me. Look at the camera. Lydia. Lydia, say hi to your fans. Everybody wants to know how you're doing. See, she can look and stuff, and I don't know if she can understand what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, no. See, that's the look I get all the time. It's like, don't talk to me. 
Um, she, I get, I keep trying to get her to say hello, hola. No response yet. So we're working. It's going to take a long time. Um, what else? I have to watch her hand because it's not restrained and we don't want her to pull out her feeding tube. Um, she was just rubbing her eye just then. And let's see. I haven't taken a shower yet either, so I'm going to do that today sometime. And I'll keep you guys updated. And babes, really, this is this video is for you. When you become able to understand what's going on, we're, I'm keeping a little video diary so that you can watch later. Hopefully, it doesn't disturb you too much. Um, but uh, this is this is for you. Say hi to the kids. Say hi. Take a smile. Cause you're sexy. Say hi to the kids. No? Yeah, I know. But they wanna see you. It's okay, babes. Let's see, what else? Oh, you're dozing off again. Um, I mentioned that Trump was still president. And um, the food in the cafeteria kind of is, it's edible, kind of sucks. It's edible though. Um, I've eaten there a couple times. What I'm really craving though is jerky. Jerky sounds so good right now. Um, so I might stop to buy the store and get some jerky. So we have some over here. Um, I've been eating Catherine's cookies. That's what I had for breakfast today, in the water. And um, that, it's just all good. Hey guys, um, I'm back. It's almost 6.30 p.m. on December 2nd. day four and this is turning into a blog journal um, specifically for Lydia so that she can see what's going on um, and know that she's being or has been well taken care of whether she sees this or not I don't know but I may share this um, with loved ones online uh, so you can see what's going on. Um, I get questions every day from 20 different people. I say, how's she doing? How's she doing? How's she doing? So, um, this, uh, these videos are going to be a summary of how she's doing and what she's doing. Right now, as you can see, she's sleeping. That's her favorite thing to do right now. Um, and I think on the next video, I'm going to explain what I know happened um what are because we missed i didn't video days one and two um because i didn't think it was appropriate but the more i thought about it and the more um people have asked how she's doing the i thought this is a better way to or a good way to spread um the news and the updates um to our loved ones, friends and family. So, um, as a note to, to Lydia, um, I did laundry today. Um, almost put dishwashing little nugget thing to wash my clothes or our clothes. Um, caught myself, did good on that one. Yeah. Um, but actually did a little laundry today. Uh, went home to take a shower while I was in the shower, made sure that a little laundry is being done. Um, so kind of proud of myself on that one, Miss Lydia. Uh, 
because you've spoiled me over the years. And I think it's not necessarily because I can't handle it. I think it's because I don't do it the way you do it and you're really picky um, on how you do your laundry. Uh, so I did laundry today. I hope it's to your satisfaction. Um, if not, you're just gonna have to suck it. So, um, dogs were taken care of. I took care of the dogs, fed them, let them do their business um, while I was home. And uh, then I stopped by Home Depot today to share with your team a little bit, you know, five minutes of your status of those people that were there. And I also paid your Home Depot credit card bill because um, it was due today. seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, keep going, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. That's great. Left arm, sorry. Left one. I get my left and right mixed up. Can you listen, reach with that left arm and touch my hand here? Can you touch my hand? Touch my hand, Lydia. No. Can I show you? Here, Jordan's gonna put his hand up and I'll show you what he wants you to do. You touch him? Good. Do it again. Okay, look at my hand. There you go. Nice. Good. Are you done? Can you do it again? All the way up, look over, look over, look over. Good. Okay, let's have you relax that arm again. Can you reach over here? Can you touch my hand over here? With this one? Good job, all the way over. Keep going, keep looking with your eyes. Find it with your That's eyes. my pocket. Can you find my hand? Lydia? No, I think you can do it. Look with your eyes over here. Can you follow my hand? Look at my hand, Lydia. Keep looking at my hand. You doing okay?
I know that this was a long video and we appreciate you sticking through it and watching our story. It helps us to document everything that we do and that's one of the reasons why we're uh, making these videos is to be able to look back and see the progress that Lydia has made. Um, it also, we, we also make these videos to hopefully inspire others going through or suffering a brain injury or any injury for that matter um, is hard. The recovery process is hard. And with the stroke, Lydia has had to learn things all over again. And sometimes things don't respond. Um, she's had to learn how to walk. And we can walk. Um, it is wobbly. So I'm always there or somebody is always there uh, when she is walking just in case she loses her balance. Um, but that is something that we're working on. Um, her speech has gotten a ton better compared to what it used to be. As you re notice at the beginning of this video. So we hope that we can help and inspire others who have gone through similar uh, tragedies, uh, traumatic injuries. Um, and we would like to give our support to those that are going through the same situation that Lydia is going through. Um, you're not alone. There are thousands of individuals that are going through or have gone through these same types of things. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you soon. If you want to continue to give Lydia your support, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of future videos that we put out. Do you have anything to say? Thank you.